Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. Uh, you might want to uh, uh, take, take we're a We're trying look. to, we're tr can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I've got my assistant here. She's trying to, but uh, I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's, I'm here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. I can I can see that. What's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. I wanted to start with some humor. Rush Limbaugh has has died, but the cat filter thing, I just I had to do that video. <laughs> I'm not a cat. Uh, I can see that you're not a cat. You know, though, the dignity of people really is not as obvious, uh, and that judge was gracious. Because there are people today that uh, would would say, hey, I'm a dog, and people have to go along with it, which we all know God made them male and female in the beginning. So this is uh, yet another reminder of the dignity of humanity, which is why something like this is so funny. But Rush Limbaugh uh, recently passed into eternity, and it seems positive. He, he said that his faith in Christ had comforted it, comforted him. Uh, during the battle that he had with lung cancer. So our thoughts and prayers are with his family. But I wanted to draw attention to one of his quotes that he said in one of his last interviews. He said he kept his faith a secret because he didn't proselytize. And to me, when I read this, when I was reading about his last words and stuff like that, I thought, how strange. Because this uh, is not a statement on Rush Limbaugh, but for someone to say that they don't proselytize and that they are a follower of Christ, this is very confusing because Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me and my words, so too will the Son of Man be ashamed when I come. And he gave us the Great Commission. Uh, the whole idea of the dominion mandate, which is in Genesis 127 and 28, is that man would be fruitful <clears throat> and man and women would produce children that would follow God that would be part of his kingdom. That was the dominion mandate originally given before the fall. When Christ reconciled us to himself through the cross, he said, go make disciples. It's a continuation of the mandate given in Genesis 127 and 28. So we are disciple makers. And if that's you today, I want to encourage you in a world of cat filters and Zoom meetings that your, your life has meaning. You have purpose. And uh, the, the purpose of your life is to glorify God. Jesus Christ bore the wrath of God for our sins on the cross. He's fully God and fully man, paid an infinite debt, died and rose on the third day. And we are commanded to make disciples. It's not something we do grudgingly. It's not something we do to show how serious and committed we are. We do it because we love other people and we love God. Jesus said, thus fulfills the law. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. The second commandment is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. So I hope this encourages you today and also makes you smile a little bit and then maybe scratch your head about the Rush Limbaugh quote. But uh, again, pray for his family and that they would be encouraged. And remember to hammer that like button like the 95 DCs. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and God bless. On the Zoom, everything seemed fine.